Hello and welcome to this Java tutorial. In this um, video we're going to print um, a slightly different kind of output to the previous example in the playlist. Instead of printing a grid we are going to print kind of this triangle, this number triangle. Um, so as you can see this is slightly different because we still have the same number of rows. We actually have 10 rows printed, but the number of columns on each row actually increases as we go down the rows. So in this example, we still have 10 rows of output, um, and the last row of output actually has 10 columns, but as we progress down the rows, um, the number of rows actually grows. So um, row number one has one number, row number two has two numbers, row number three has three numbers, and so on and so on. So how do we actually, how do we produce this kind of output? It would seem that, you know, every row that we output is different. How do we control that? Well, it's very similar actually to the last um, video in the playlist where we printed a grid of numbers. So what we're going to do is take exactly the same approach to this problem and break it down as we did before. I'll go through the first couple of steps pretty quickly because that's covered in the previous video in this playlist. So the first thing that I want to do is produce a loop that will print one of the rows. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually going to concentrate on the last row of the grid. Again, just the numbers from 1 to 10. So looking at the last row of the triangle, and uh, it has the numbers from 1 to 10. So I'm just going to write a loop to do that, first of all. So it's going to be for int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, and i equals i plus 1. Okay, and what I want to do in here is system.out.print, and I'm just going to print i again followed by a space as we had in the previous example. Okay, so this is just going to print the numbers from 1 to 10, right? Well, we hope so. And there we are, print the numbers from 1 to 10. So in the output you can see the numbers from 1 to 10. Again, how many times do I want to repeat that? Well, forgetting for a moment about um, the fact that each row increases in size, let's just kind of bypass that for a second. How many rows in total do I want to print? Well, I want to print 10. So again, I'm going to take this inner loop and I'm going to wrap that in an outer loop. So I'm going to say for int j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 10, j equal to j plus 1. So again, now this is going to become my inner loop. And so inner loop, that's actually at the moment, well, that's actually printing the columns and there are 10 of those just for the moment. And my outer loop, well, this is my outer loop. And this is printing the rows of which there are 10 as well. Okay. And what I want to do is, after this inner loop has finished, I want to print a new line. So again, all of this is covered in uh, the previous video on the playlist. So if you've missed that, go back and have a look at that one first um, before I finish this one off. Okay, so we're just going to do a print ln here and uh, I'm going to save that and run this piece of code. And as you can see, I get a grid. I get the same output as we had in the previous example. But obviously that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for um, this grid to be output, but the amount of columns on each row is increasing as we go down the rows. So how might I do that? Well, if you look at what's printed on the first row, we have the single number one on the first row. And then on the second row, we have the number one followed by the number two. So if you begin to break this down um, in your head, you can see that, well, I don't want to print 
all of the numbers from 1 to 10 on the first row, I actually just want to print the number 1. And then on the second row, I want to increase that to two numbers and print the number 1 and 2. And then on the third row, I want to increase that again by 1 and print the numbers 1, 2, 3. So the number of numbers on each row increases with the same number of rows. So row 1, 1 number. Row 2, 2 numbers. Row 3, 3 numbers. Row 4, 4 numbers. Okay, so if I think about that for a second, then what I can do is I can change my inner loop. So instead of my inner loop starting at 1, which it's still going to start at, and looping up to 10, in other words, printing the numbers to ten, numbers from 1 to 10 on, on each row, I don't want it to do that. I actually want to print J number of numbers on each row. So what I can do is I can change the guard on my inner loop. Instead of being I less than or equal to 10, it's going to be I less than or equal to J. Because J is going to be the row counter, and the row counter is going to start off at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if I print that amount of numbers on the inner loop, that will print the same amount of numbers as there is rows. So, um, by just making that simple change on the inner loop instead of printing i less than or equal to 10 and saying i less than or equal to j, that should do it for me. So if I compile and run this code, you'll see that I get the desired output because my inner loop is now not printing from 1 to 10 each time. It's printing from 1 to j and j is going to increase because j is the row number. So then I get um, the same amount of numbers on each row as uh, J increases. So that prints out um, that ever increasing number of columns as we go down the rows. Okay, so if you uh, thought this video was useful, please hit the like button or subscribe to the channel for more uh, useful Java tutorials. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Again, thanks for watching.